I want to be a Blackburn Ranger because I want to ride the Great Divide. That is an adventure that I want to do. Totally. Are you kidding me? I've done a few cross-country cycling trips myself. I've gone from uh, Boston to Santa Barbara, California. I did that with a group called Bike and Builder. It was a nonprofit organization, uh, raised money and awareness for affordable housing, and it organized these cross-country cycling trips around 4,000 miles. And the, and the, the trip of 32 riders, we raised uh, over $150,000. I loved it so much, I had to do it again. Had to. I, uh, I signed back up and then I was actually chosen to lead the northern route, which was from Portsmouth, New Hampshire to Vancouver, British Columbia. And it has left an incredible impact on my life. Huge impact. I started working with Yay Bikes, a local nonprofit bike advocacy group. And we did a, a program called How We Roll, which was bike safety tours for OSU students to teach them how to ride a bike in the city. It was super successful. We reached a lot of students, uh, over 275 students. Um, and it, that kind of got me more involved with the city. And through that, I had a, I do a spin-off, um, which is Architectural Bike Tours of the City of Columbus, which is super cool. We go bike around the city and learn about um, the city of Columbus and all of our architecture. And through all these other people I've been meeting, I've uh, got to do other things like um, Pinch Flat Bike Poster Blowout, a bike poster gallery show event um, that is just to you know raise awareness and the and you know get people jazzed about the bike culture and get uh, and support the arts in Columbus. Bike touring or adventure cycling, you see the world at a pace where it's meant to be viewed at and to be experienced, but you're going faster than walking, so you can actually so you can actually cover more ground and experience more than you would on foot. But you're doing it slow enough and in the elements so you feel the wind, you feel the rain, the hot, the cold, you feel it all. And weather can be unrelenting, but that's the whole point of the whole experience. That was a burp, you know, put that in there. I have the itch to get back on a bike now. <laughs> it's been almost four years since I did my last bike tour. And I just got back from Florida, you know, just got back from Florida, biking from Orlando to Fort Lauderdale. A little four day trip, and it's the bug's back. For the past year, I've been having these daydreams of a South American epic adventure. Biking from Colombia to Patagonia, 10,000 miles roughly. And it takes six to eight months, potentially longer. That seems so epic, so incredible. I have to do it. And that's why like, I was compelled to do the Continental Divide because it's like a quarter or a third of what the South American epic would be. And you get all the Rockies, you get all that climbing, get the temperature swings, and it's gonna be gnarly. It's gonna be gnarly. I know my history with Blackburn is fairly limited, but um, over the years I've been building my social networks through community events I've been running and all these bike trips and other things that you know, all my travels I've met a lot of people and I feel with all those connections and a lot of them being bike connections that my social network is large enough and has a large enough exposure to get Blackburn fairly large exposure across the United States and even internationally. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this and hopefully we can ride the divide. Right? The divide is calling.